You got a clock ticking in the background here. I wonder what's going on. We just, uh, we just, oh. Oh, pardon me. Uh, we just did the deed last episode for the first time. So I'm wondering if we fell asleep in our bed by accident with her. Let's find out, shall we? Tadaima, kaite kita wa yo. Omiyage katte kita kara kochi kinasai. Oh shit. Ne, nechatta no? Osushi katte kita nda kedo. Okasa. Oh no. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me! How could this happen? My mom's on the other side of the goddamn door and lying in my bed is Himari completely fucking naked with her clothes scattered across the floor. Hi, uh, not now, mom. Give me five seconds. Jump out of the bed and fluster and shove Himari's clothes under the blanket. Dude, she's wearing a nightie. What are you talking about? Sorry, Himari. Stay under the blanket for me. Hi, do I, What? <sighs> Quickly jump under the blanket as well. Hello, Oka-san. Um, how was work? Maybe I was sleeping. You think about that? Uh, I'm not hungry. I, um... Yeah, I actually ate out somewhere today, so I'm good. <laughs> yes, I did. So I'm absolutely stuffed right now. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would never. Thought he wouldn't even enter my mind. Such a poor little boy as me would never dare to do something as vile as hiding things from his dear mom. Hmm. Oh my god. Fuck, 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 fuck! Why does she pick today of all days to be this nosy? Because she's our mother. Normally she goes straight to sleep when she comes home this late. And Himari is probably suffocating under there. Himari's clinging to me under the blanket, frightened out of her mind. Her naked body is sticking to my back. I gotta do something. G go mend us, I! Huh? I borrowed some porn mags from her friend and I was wanking off to those before you came in. Oh my god. See? Look at that pile of used tissues over there. The trash bin is stuffed with them, right? I just get super horny around nighttime. You can't help it. Well, some of us. Anyway. So if you could pretty please not drive your poor son into even more of a corner mentally. It's true that I'm full though. I'll eat the sushi later if I get hungry. So need more proof I can describe in full detail the content of the numerous porn mags I have under the blanket. Okay. <laughs> Arigato gozaimashita! Oh my god. Crisis averted, but for how long? Mom returns to the living room without any further bothering. Blood to assume my frantic look may have possibly grossed her out. Yeah, I bet it did. Also, wait. I'm just noticing. 
Oh no, that's, that's a that's probably a rug. The, the circular thing in between his bed and his chair. That was close. Uh oh. Got a dotted line. Oh my god. Do you know how to knock? I don't think you do. Ah! I apologize for any deafness incurred by my scream just now. Did you have some sort of business with me, mother? The time being, I draw mom's attention to me using the power of my nakedness. Will do. Hmm. Hi. Uh, pleasant dreams, mother. Oh my God, that actually hurt my head. <laughs> oh. Whew. She's gonna open the door again, isn't she? Silence finally returns to the room. Check the situation in her living room through the door, and apparently my mom's watching TV now. Oh, thank God. I see. She's planning to relax some and drink some booze. As, as usual. Daijobu? <laughs> oh, me too. I'm lightheaded after that. Oh my God. <laughs> She's peering at up at me from the bed while still naked. Dude, she's wearing a nightie. Oh, whatever. Normally seeing her like that would get me super in the mood, but my heart rate is still at dangerous levels from what just happened. I am not in the mood for that right now. Uh, oh shit. It's almost midnight. Oh. Mayonaka. Cover Himari's mouth with my hand. Things have gone from bad to bad. You'd have to move through the living room to get out of the house, so my mom would see Himari no matter what. Meanwhile, Yoko's probably like, uh, she's probably having her first time. I couldn't be any more proud. I wish you would have told me first, though. If she's just mad, that'd be our least... Our, the least of our worries. Some parents might even call the police if their daughter wasn't home yet at this time of night. Oh, good call. Takes out her phone and calls Yoko-san's number. Apparently she had multiple missed calls from her while her phone was on silent. Which makes Hamari's face turn even paler. Good. Uh, yes. But what you did was of vital importance, my dear. Of course you can. It's not like you have any other choice. 
Mom seems like she's gonna be up for a little while longer, so unfortunately, we're kind of stuck in this room. It's next to impossible to get Himari home, given the situation. Every path to the front door involves going through the living room, and using the balcony as an exit route is... not very plausible. <laughs> Following that, a truly jo joyful smile surfaces on her face. Yeah, she's right. We spend a night together. Now that I realize that, damn, I'm getting excited too. Having my girlfriend sleep over kind of gets me fired up. <laughs> so? Yeah, but we can't be doing the dirty with mom in the living room. Well, then again, she'll probably think we're just watching porn. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I gotta see you lounging around my room naked. It's great. Huh? Mari immediately pulls the blanket over herself. Um, what point is there in spending the night together? Is she just gonna hide from me? This guy is clueless. Mari, let me get in too. I swear I won't try to touch your opi or your butt or anything. Yeah, he, he more than likely will. He's blatantly wary of me. Seriously, what's the problem with me touching, damn it? It wasn't even that long ago we were making passionate love and you were going on about how much you loved me. God. Himari, believe me! How does she not hear him calling her name? Oh my god. <sighs> Well, the wine's probably kicking in. Uh, not some dirty scumbag that tried to fill up his girlfriend against her will, okay? Yeah, I figured. I'm sorry, it's just an illusion. It's so bad about being a little touchy-feely. At least let me give you a smooch. Uh. Himari right in front of me, I wrap my arms around her shoulders and draw her towards me. And then, trying to keep with the mood as much as possible, I kiss her slowly and I have put my finger back on the pause button. Do you like kissing? Yeah, it does. <laughs> even went and had the dirty, too. Still hear those voices you made during then, t dude. I don't even know how I'd best describe it. Regardless, there were voices I never knew a girl could make. I think this is the record for how many times a girl has said Muzukashi, or embarrassing, in a root. Ah, 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 it's rubbing me. Here's an example for you. For both her and for all of you. Ah, uh, uh, you're moving so much faster. Mm. Or something like that. Shh, oi, keep down, you're being kind of loud. <laughs> she immediately covers her own mouth and looks toward the door. Shit, she really got a little too carried away there, yeah, you think? We'd really be royally screwed big time if mom caught us like this. Me 
like that for? Sorry, I went and got a little carried away there. I won't tease you anymore, so calm down, pretty please? I draw Himari into my arms again and stroke her head. Seeing that she's gone red from ear to ear, I must have embarrassed her pretty bad. Baka. Etsy. <laughs> Sorry, Himari, I just feel like I'm on the clouds right now. Yeah, you did. Hold her tight once more, unable to resist temptation and kiss her. This time, Himari kind of intertwines her tongue with mine, which automatically flips my switch. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, I got the urge to hear some of those voices again. She let her guard down, so I take the opportunity and. Look her up, I... Dude, your mom's gonna hear that and come in. Her chickabee are already erect. Each time I slowly make my tongue move, Imari strongly clings on to me. I see you got what again? Himari subconsciously leans on to me. As I proceed to caress her opai, I clearly notice the thick... Oh uh, my god. I really notice the, the thick stuff from her... From her manko dripping onto my thigh. H Himari, you're too lewd for this world. <laughs> Himari <laughs> slowly draws her hands away from me. But there's a slight problem with that. Stopping at a point like this is the most frustrating thing a guy can experience. S sorry, Himari. We please have the dirty just one more time, I promise. Pushing your luck here, dude. Huh? Why not? Uh. Oh. Uh. At that point, the situation takes a turn for the unexpected. Oh boy. Oh no. Mother dearest. What? Uh, well, no, I was just actually sleeping. I walk out into the living room in order to check how things are with mom. Um, are you gonna be going to sleep anytime soon? Hmm. I don't to I move over to the kitchen, keeping my face as straight as possible. I open the fridge, find myself a snack and something to drink. I'll be going back to my room now. Good night and pleasant dreams. Hi, hi, Oyasumi. She casually waves her hand at me while watching TV. This is this is bad motherfucking news. Indication tell indications tell me she's gonna be up for a while. Okay, Yumari. Oh my god, she must be really at her limit. She's desperately holding down her abdomen. Oh. Oh, I hate that pain. 
Sorry, I know it's an emergency, but I don't think my mom's going to be leaving the living room anytime soon. So, uh... Oh, no. Is he going to make her do what I think he's going to make her do? My girlfriend is pleading with me with... Pleading to me with teary eyes. Dear God, if you're out there, I apologize. Ugh. Am I a hentai for actually somehow being turned on by the situation? Uh, yes, very much so. If you go to the toilet now, my mom will make a huge fuss. And we'll both never hear the end of it. Well, this is my room, so if it comes down to it, I wouldn't mind you just peeing in some corner. She snaps at me. Well, should have known. She's a girl after all. Alright, you're just gonna have to buck up and do it on the balcony. No one will be out at this time of night, and if there are, it won't even matter because we're on the eighth, eighth floor. Wait. I could have sworn it was on the fifth floor, but whatever. Huh? Okay, well, we're out of options. What are you saying? Back when we were kids, I remember when, the, whenever the restrooms were too crowded, you'd always be like. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, God damn it! We have a legit emergency on our hands here. And all she's saying is, well, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. What's it gonna say? Okay, I have a solution. I bought some tea from the kitchen. You just do it inside this. Well, but what other option do we have? Oh my god. Immediately take off the cap and chug a half liter bottle of green tea. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Don't worry, there are people who actually piss in bottles. It's like a fad among some people nowadays, and they're called... But There's a name for that? Called bo bottlers. Okay, and... <laughs> uh, you just need to aim right and you'll be fine. Wow. She attacks me with the empty plastic bottle. And they're, uh... They're screaming again, by the way. God damn it, what the hell are we supposed to do about this? Gotcha, then just... Oh, dude. Oh, oh. And just think of my mouth as a... He wasn't joking, and that's... That repulsed... Or that repulsed me. Oh, Himari, you innocent little thing. People actually... Do drink! Yeah, uh, mm. uh, we're really going down some dark territory here, Brigadiers. People do actually drink that stuff in very fetishy porn, and there are people who enjoy that. Oh, my God. Alright, got it. Sink or swim, then. Wait for a good opportunity, then she, when she isn't paying attention, to sneak into the bathroom. Mm. Mari begins to hurriedly put, put on her clothes, prepare for the possibility of my mom discovering us. Kinda sucks that I can't see her naked anymore, but all good things come to an end. Besides, it's kinda unfair in the first place that I was the on, only one clothed. Alright. 
Ready then? Make sure you're as quiet as a mouse. Oh. I slowly open my room's door. Okay. What is mom doing? <laughs> Ah, oh, perfect. A miracle has occurred. She fell asleep after getting drunk. Goddess, pave this pathway to victory for us. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's make our way to the bathroom. Make sure you don't make any noises at all. I lead Himari straight to the bathroom. Still have to worry about the possibility of my mom waking up before she's done. So I'll wait in the front of the door and keep an eye on things. I'll be waiting here. Just call me if there's any problem. Oh, for fuck's sake, just do it. Why? Oh my god. What's so bad about that? Seriously. Sorry, anything but that. Phew. Following my girlfriend's demand, I place myself in front of the door while covering my ears. It's awfully cute, but I feel like before too long, she'll have me on her leash. Things keep up like this, I think she already does, dude. Kind of like, I can't go against her word when it counts. I can't deny that I love that kind of int intimacy we have. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> uh. oh my god. Oi, Mari, don't talk too loud or you might wake my mom. Damn, yeah, she was snoring up a fucking storm. Well, I hope. After the toilet incident, I woke up my mom and told her she'd sleep in her room instead of on the couch. Seemed like she was asleep in her room and, well, really wanted to take a bath, so I asked a bath, so I asked Himari to take one with me. And here we are. Uh, given our current positions, I can't see your body. That's kind of disappointing, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, there is a need. A substantial need. God, how many years has it been since I last took a bath with Himari? Mm. Okay. I I'm just seeing how much I have to censor here. Anyway. Back when we were kids, we were brought, brought along to the public bathhouses a lot, and my mom would always drag me into the women's bath with her while he mar where Himari was. Well, I'm a guy. We have broad shoulders. Kind of worrying if I didn't grow up any after eating, moving, and sleeping every day. Cut that out, you're embarrassing me. Yeah, rip. Whoops. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Hmm. Uh, Oi! Don't. Himari extends her hand towards my chin chin. This little runt. She's normally terribly shy when it comes to these things, but whenever she gets on her high horse, it goes straight out the window. Part of her hasn't changed. 
こも洗わなきゃ大変でしょ No,、uh, you don't have to. I'm perfectly capable of washing my own chin chin. Naka, Utsu no Tokyo, Yakari Yawaraka in the day. Saki made Kore de Ijimera de Tanate, Choto Shinjira de Nai Kurai. Okay, Himari. Don't phrase it that way. Come on, say it made sweet love to you. Demo, Watashi, so cookie takatashi. Yeah, it certainly looked that way. She pretends to feel my chin chin at random places with her hand full of body soap. Mari, stop! If you keep touching it, um. And it's up. Oh my god. Evidently, it did. Yeah, I don't tell it would. Uh huh. I also got one earlier when we were kissing. And when I took off your clothes when we were having the dirty. And when I touched your opi, it was, I was super hard. So, so, Nanda. Nanda, as a casique, though, Regina. Tashi, Tibono Karadani, who don't eat Tishin no Kotokoro. And now here you are, bathing with us. Well, if we have the chance, I'd. I、uh, know. I'd love to have. The, I'd love to have sex again. Uh oh. Oh, god damn it. And here we go again. Ah, crap! You startled me! Purposely yelled loudly in order to drown out Himari's voice. Sorry, I was kind of sweaty and I just got the surge to clean myself up. Yup. Oyasumi! Oyasumi is a sigh! Oh my god. Whew! That is way too many near heart attacks for one night. Are you ready to get out now? Good. You wash each other's bodies and use the dryer in turns, one drying while the other keeps watch. I hand Himari a disposable toothbrush meant for guests, and we both brush our teeth in front of the mirror next to each other. Whew! Finally through with that series of、uh, ordeals. I think you can sleep soundly now. I bought over an extra pillow from the living room. I give Himari the pillow I normally use and place the one from the living room behind my head and lie down. Yeah, you can say that again. Yeah. I feel like I've always, I'll always remember the, all the scares and trouble you went through as well, along with our first time. Mari lightly grips my hand. Oh, pardon me. Uh, her hand is a fair bit smaller than mine. Feels a tad warmer than before. I guess that's because of the bath. I guess, I guess it was all worth it in the end, huh? So, come, she didn't know. Hi, Nani. What does she go in my only toy skin? You know, just a moon. May walk with a nut and motorish night. 
Why would you even ask something like that? I never think you view as annoying, no matter what. If anything, I'd be crying tears of joy if you love me more than you do now. Yeah. After that, Himari slowly draws her body close to me. Nori's there. Plan on loving you more than the world. <laughs> Two of us snuggled up together and fell fast asleep. I slept in this bed myself my whole life. And I have to say, I never felt so happy to have Mari next to me. kind of suspicious after I got home today. Maybe it was because I didn't tell her until so late. That should be fine, right? God, talk about scary. Well, I doubt yoko would really get mad if she found out by having her suddenly realize Samari was staying over at my place. It's a scenario I would really not like to entertain. All good. I want to apologize in person if she finds out. Knowing her, I feel like she'd be overjoyed or anything, if anything. And send. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I feel like that would happen too. Oh, completely off topic here, but my mom says I should wear my hair down instead of in ponytails. Wondering what you thought. Imagining Himari with her hair down makes you think of the day I confessed to her. And yeah, she did look super cute like that. Um. Yep, hair down. You look good with your hair down. Hey, she look kind of mature. Not if I'm not off guard, you can seriously make my heart skip a beat. I just gave her my honest opinion. But sure. <laughs> what the? I didn't even. Oh, whatever. Eh, she seems pretty happy. We text each other back and forth for a while. I really love being able to casually text with my girlfriend like this. Okay, well, <laughs> that was an adventure and a half. Uh, I wonder how long it's going to be before the cat's out of the bag, though. Can't be, can't be too much longer, I guess. Eventually, one of us is going to slip up, and I have a feeling it's going to be me because he's not the smartest cookie in the jar. If you get my drift. Uh, well, let's see, what time is it? <sighs> hmm. I think I can do another episode. Alright. So, with that said, uh, until next time, don't be a dick to your significant other, especially if it's someone like Himari or one of the other girls, and keep on rocking. <laughs>